and we are live guys welcome to another live stream from men of high value channel my name is joseph darling and what we want to talk about today is blue balls and how it relates to semen retention now i spoke to my brother about you know i should make different kind of thumbnails and stuff like that but we kind of figured out eventually that the thumbnails that i have actually are pretty good because no one else does them anymore like everyone has this fancy thumbnail and i'm like uh, blue background, white, and a little bit of red. And I also did that for this one. But, you know, since my brother did mention it, you know, it would have been funny to use this thumbnail instead for blue balls. Now, it's a bit too much for our viewers. I apologize for that, but I just wanted to show you a picture of blue balls. There you have it. Blue balls. Anyway, if you like that joke, then hit the like button. And I'll move on with the program. So, what is blue balls? Basically, what happens when you've been in sexual hyperdrive for many, 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 many years because of masturbation and constant ejaculation? What's gonna happen when you stop ejaculating? Well, then it's gonna still be in hyperdrive for a few days and you're basically gonna get congested in the area of your balls and under your balls. Um, so in your pelvic floor. And that can be quite uncomfortable sometimes. And it's one of the reasons why people give up so easily when it comes to controlling their ejaculation and actually semen retention. And basically they think that, oh no, it's not good. I think I'm gonna get prostate cancer and, and I, I shouldn't do this anymore because it's bad for my health. No, it's just that it always gets worse before it gets better. Always. It gets worse before it gets better. And if we know that, we can actually manage through discipline to get through the uncomfortable period of time until the semen uh, production normalizes to how it's supposed to be and it becomes normal again and obviously most people don't manage to get over that point but you know it's too bad for them because they'll never really see how it was for those of us who actually do manage to overcome it and get through it now semen retention is not the only way you get blue balls it also happens if you become very stimulated you know if you actually are making out with a girl or something you know, you're starting that semen production because your body thinks that, oh, I'm going to have the chance to ejaculate soon. And then suddenly you stop doing that action. Then your balls are wondering, hey, what happened? Why did you stop? I was going to come out. And then you're going to get blue balls as well. So we've all had it. We all know how it works. But are there any solutions to this? And my answer is yes, there's always a solution. And one of the solutions in terms of blue balls is something that is called Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises is pelvic floor exercises and it comes from a, a guy in 1948, an American gynecologist. This is the first time it was published in literature, but it obviously thousands and probably tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people have practiced it for eons. It's just that it hasn't been published in, you know, industrialized countries literature before 1948 when Arnold Kegel came up with it. And the reason why he came up with it was because women was having a uh, urinary incontinence. So it was basically if, if, um, you know, when women sneeze, some women pee in their pants and that's kind of awkward and it's because of urinary incontinence uh, or older people who don't have control over their their muscles anymore and because of that they basically pee on themselves so all of this can be solved with kegel exercises it can also be used for women after childbirth in order to retract the system and put it back together um and so he basically told women about this and women started practicing it and uh, obviously it, it healed urinary incontinence for women, but they also told them that it produced orgasms. 
Some of these women had never had orgasms in their entire lives before when it came to vaginal uh, penetration. And then suddenly, because of these Kegel exercises, they now could. Um, I mean, so anyway, in terms of that, now it's gotten to the next level where men are like, oh, interesting, there are benefits to Kegel exercises for men as well. And they also relate, relate to stronger orgasms, but also in is one of the ways to cure premature ejaculation is to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. That's the one muscle that you never train. Like you can be a massive bodybuilder and you'll never train your pelvic floor muscles. So it's, it's something that actually needs to be focused on and, and be done on a consistent basis. So Kegel exercises, how does it work? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. Um, because in terms of, you, there's, there's two different parts. You've got semen retention as a single, and then you've got semen retention when you're basically having sex with a long-term committed partner and you want to stop yourself from ejaculating. So in terms of having sex and not ejaculating, then Kegel exercises can help you to control when to stop. So that's one of the ways to do that. And you're going to have blue balls normally if you stop ejaculating while having sex. Now, that's going to be a, a natural, normal occurrence, but you can use this method, which is uh, in addition to regular Kegel exercises. You can do it in the way that I'm going to demonstrate now. Um, and it's the same thing with semen retention as a single. And I've experienced this, I mean, over the past six weeks, that, you know, it becomes a bit tight, not necessarily in, in the balls for me, but in the pelvic floor. So when that happens, if I feel some pressure down there, this is what you do. You basically use your breath and you breathe in through your nose and you contract your pelvic floor muscle at the same time to bring up the energy into like through you basically here and into your head. And it actually feels really good. And in some ways it's kind of like a horny feeling, but you can practice it yourself. Like when, whenever you're horny or whenever uh, you feel that there's pressure building up down there, you basically tighten up your Kegel muscles, go straight to your brain and you feel great. And it helps you to kind of release the tension and the, the issues that are going on down there and, and brings the pressure into your body and into your bloodstream instead through your, your, uh, through that exercise. I mean, if you have more questions about it, obviously I'm going to answer. I don't know if I explained it properly. I've never done a demonstration of Kegel exercises online before. So, you know, pardon me. But but in terms of that, um, all of this stuff I've learned from a guy named Montak Chia. Uh, I didn't learn it from him. I just read his books. And, uh, and there he talks about the microcosmic orbit and how basically to control your ejaculation and how to cure uh, premature ejaculation and also to bring the energy from down there and cycle it instead throughout your body so that you can, you know, revitalize your body through sex instead of just, you know, make it all about down there all the time. It's not about down there. It's about bringing the energy throughout your whole body, feeling fantastic in general and, and the frustration that should have come from the non-ejaculation there's no frustration anymore because you bring it up and then it's not down there and it's not like, oh, well, I need to ejaculate, I need to ejaculate. This, you don't get that problem. And that's wonderful because now you've got a solution. So anyway, it's one of the solutions. It's not a cure-all, but if you try it, it'll help. Give me feedback if it does help um, and uh, hopefully it will. So that's my sharing with you guys today about blue balls. Obviously, all of you guys are going to get it at some point or another. Try this one, see if it works. This is the Men of High Value channel. My name is Joseph Darling. I'll see you again, as always, tomorrow.